lastminute.com is not my cup of tea at all, and yet that's exactly what we're doing at the moment. We've booked a three days and two nights stay to go to Oxford today afternoon, and I haven't packed for anyone at all. And we've got a 10 week old baby. I can't imagine what I'm going to do. This is our first trip away with our baby. It's more like a test drive for us. We wanted to see how it is like if we were to take a short trip with our baby. Um, kind of, you know, see how he's doing with long drive and everything before we actually drive up to Scotland because that's about six hours away without any stops whatsoever. My son at the moment doesn't really like the car seat. He's not used to it at all. He will probably sit in it for about five, ten minutes and then he'll start crying or he might fall asleep but that really depends on how he is and his mood and the day and things like that. Very rarely does he sit through for quite some time. We're going to be driving to Oxford. It's about one and a half hour away from where we are at the moment. Since we're driving, luggage is not so much of a problem but I would really like not to pack my entire house that's what everyone always says if you're traveling with a baby you need to take so many things so I've been planning um, although this is a last minute trip I was very quick to put my list down I needed to pack things for Levi for three days and two nights that we are going so I've laid everything out here and I'm going to show you what I'm packing so that I kind of try and recall what I am packing um, in case if I miss something out I'll be able to pick it up but I think that's what I need I think this is all I need actually I usually travel really light and I'm hoping to do the same for Levi as well so let me show you what I'm going to pack for him here's everything that I've laid out that I need to pack for Levi and I need to pack everything in this one bag I'm hoping everything will fit in there I've packed two outfits for each day Let's start off with the first one. This is for today afternoon. This is his traveling outfit. It's a short sleeve vest with pants. It needs socks, so I've kept that together. This is a long sleeve vest with pants. This pants has a foot at the bottom. This is when we reach there in the evening and I'll change that for him. This is another vest with pants and this one requires um, socks. And this is for Thursday. This is for Thursday morning and this is for Thursday afternoon. Another vest with pants and this is for our journey back. Friday morning we need to check out by 11 o'clock. So this is another short sleeve vest with um, pants and it needs socks so I will use the socks from there over here. And this is a spare outfit in case we have an accident and we need to change him then I have this one spare outfit. For his bedtime I've got two short sleeve vest and I've got two long sleeve bodysuits. It's a bit of an overkill but it really depends on how the temperature is in the room. So if it's quite warm then I'll use the short sleeve ones. If it's quite cold then I'll use the long sleeve bodysuit. And then I've got his swaddle. This is the happiest baby swaddle. This is so good. I would highly recommend this. And I've got a cellular blanket for him and his bed sheet as well. The hotel will give us um, a cot but we want to use our own bed sheet to line it because I don't really trust their bed sheet or how it is for Levi especially for us it's fine but for him I want to make sure we have our own set of everything. I've got his towel and his washcloths here for his bath time and this is a laundry bag. I'm packing my laundry bag so I can keep all of his dirty clothes in here when I come back it'll be easier to do laundry. I've got three muslin cloths here of different sizes. I've got two extra in my changing bag and I've got one with his car seat always so these are just extras because he's at a stage where he's drooling quite a bit so I want to make sure I have a few extra and this is for his changing station that I want to set up in the hotel room this is a changing pad um, a foldable one it's quite soft and nice I just ordered this the other day from Amazon I wanted to keep a spare in the changing bag itself but now it's coming in handy and I'm taking this whole pack of his nappy. There's 31 in here. We don't need this many. But because it's a new pack and it's easier to take it that way, I'm taking the entire thing. And I have a hand sanitizer, wet wipes and um, bacterial wipes. I am thinking that I'm going to be one of those paranoid parents who's wiping everything down in the hotel room. And then I've got some scented bin bags to use in the hotel room itself to um, dispose his nappies. And I have some of his toiletries in here. These are just um, cotton wools that I normally use to wipe his face during the day and at night also. Um, I did some pat pat shopping for him the other day and I'm using all of these things to pack it separately. And these are his toiletries. So I've got a nail file. His fingernails grow overnight and I don't even know how that happens. And then I've got a comb for him and a body wash. That's it. He doesn't need any other toiletries. As for entertainment for him, I've just got these 
three books here. He doesn't need any toys. He doesn't play with any toys. He doesn't pick anything up as yet. He's only 10 weeks old. He looks at things, but he doesn't really like it so much. He prefers looking at us while we are chatting to him and communicating with him. So that's all I have for him. And I've got this night lamp here. Is the battery chargeable night lamp. It comes in different shades and everything, and it is rechargeable like this one over here. It's so good. It's one of my best buys from my New Look Essentials, and I've got this portable fan also. Again, this one here charges with the same charger, which is this plug. So that's going to be a really handy. I'm going to use this for his car seat if I need to. Um, we're expecting uh, Oxford to be a bit sunny, so it might get a bit warm and I'm going to use that. The one more thing that is missing is this noise machine. We're using it inside at the moment because he's sleeping, so that's the other thing that I need to add on when he wakes up. And finally, I've got this Ergo Baby Baby Carrier. This is the Omni 360. Um, I will leave a link to all of these things in the description box below in case you wanted to check it out yourself. I'm going to try and put all of these things in separate Ziploc bags so that it's easier and I don't get confused. I am mighty impressed with myself. I didn't think I'd be able to pack this quickly. As far as I can think of, I think I've gotten everything. Because he's only 10 weeks, he doesn't really need toys or any other entertainment at all. It's only clothes that I really need and his nappies obviously. Um, and I feed him so I don't need to worry about anything else for food wise. But I'm going to vlog the entire trip so at the end of that vlog I will know if I've missed anything or if I've overpacked. I clearly have a few extra clothes so that might be one or two extra but it doesn't really take so much space does it. But at the end of the vlog I will let you know if I've forgotten anything. Um, maybe that could be a tip for you so if you are interested be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and i will upload the vlog right after this video goes up if i'm not mistaken so this one will go up and then the vlog will go up the week after i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it gives you a little bit of idea on how to organize and plan even if it is last minute this is kind of what i would do um, if i had a few more days the only difference is that i would have packed a couple of days earlier and not the morning before our trip itself I always list everything out so that it's easier for me to um, make sure I get everything and make sure I don't forget anything so that's what I've done. I did the list late last night, the minute we've decided and then I'm packing everything now but I've kind of gotten everything. If you are going away on a trip with a baby, I hope you enjoy yourself, have a good time away and don't be stressed um, about traveling with your baby which is what I'm telling myself essentially. I am a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie but we're just gonna take it as it comes. We'll need to learn somehow. If we never do it, how are we ever going to learn, aren't we? So have a good trip and have a good week as well. I'll see you again next week. Bye!